hi youtube i am back with another pick a card we're gonna do an energy check-in see what comes up if it's love life whatever comes up what you need to know it's an energy check-in also i want to remind everybody i've been watching a lot of astrology videos and <laughs> everything's the same right now it's gonna get worse this month this month is to pray keep yourselves calm pray um keep yourselves grounded protect your energy get some crystals whatever meditate do whatever to keep yourselves calm don't let your hot temper if you have a hot temper get to you um also pray for your family pray uh it's not to instill fear in anybody but you know there's a lot of astrological things going on that we do need to these last couple of uh, months in this year we do need to be careful stay grounded meditate and you know uh, s stay connected to source um whoever you believe in your ascended masters god the universe um just stay connected okay so let's get started here we have four options we're gonna look into the energy and see what comes up and of course in the title i've already put put if it's love or life but if you need more time go ahead and and pause it okay a okay so let's see what we have for a energy check-in what do we need to know here the end of a tough cycle approaches so you've gone through a tough cycle here a very um harsh one where you needed to learn something about it it might have been painful it, you might have had growing pains from it but it kind of seems like you're coming to the end meaning it's time to level up we have hold your vision yep leveling up um holding that vision where do you want to be at um next year a year from now two years whatever hold your vision if you have any goals any desires here hold that um try to manifest it also of course you need to do the work yourself but holding that vision of where you want to be and going for it okay there might have been some struggles or there could still be some struggles here but you'll get there that's what i'm i'm sensing here you're also probably trying to also um manifest something too maybe maybe even man uh, meditating on it let's see what else we have abundance yeah some of you are gonna come into some abundance if you've been working really hard you, you're probably also seeing the f um you're probably also seeing your value you're staying grounded i feel like you you're gonna be receiving some kind of of um, reward here after the cycle ends i feel like you're very close if not already there with this full moon you could be a capricorn also earth sign here uh, we have happy family again with the abundance look at that it's rainbows um you're gaining your stability you're um feeling a lot more happier maybe you're spending time with family here or you're really looking towards what you really um know that you're worth you know you really have an optimistic view you're going to have if you don't right now you're gonna be having an optimistic view of life now and going towards happiness wow that's beautiful we have stork you've gone through is some ch kind of change or there is gonna be a renewal transformation um again okay so i was going to say that with the abundance card but uh if you're not expecting pregnancy or or um also if you're not planning pregnancy be careful with that so i do see pregnancy here twice well three times actually so 
so we have mask interesting we'll look more into it but it kind of seems like there's someone in your mess that is uh, masking themselves it's concealing themselves there could be someone in your mist. Be careful on who you tell your dreams to because it could be somebody wanting to um, kind of put a damp on your happiness here, okay? So be careful. Queen of Earth, again, of course. Could be a Taurus as well. But I'm sensing that you're really, really stable. You're trying to be stable here. More dependable, more strong, more... Um, you're very down to earth could be your venus ruled or this could also bring the uh, message of the date something could be coming in in april for you next springtime april or may but i'm sensing more of you you're becoming a lot more stable grounded so be careful who you have around you're probably also faking it till you make it which you're gonna make it uh, so i'm getting that for some of you we have white wolf confidence guidance yes i feel like you are resilient stamina believe in your power see you are becoming in your power you're you're coming into your power. You're gaining your stability back. Wow. I feel like the energy here is going to really make you happy. We have the sun here too. Okay, what is this mask? For group A. Hang on. Sorry about that. I need to drink some water. Um, okay, what is this mask? What is this mask oh okay someone here could be struggling too on making something happen or you want victory over somebody that was probably okay so you want victory here you want to overcome obstacles too you're not telling people about this you want to overcome obstacles you want to find commitment the right person here you could be dealing with a twin flame right now or a leo strong leo you could be a leo too but i do sense that you want to overcome something become more um, healthy or go towards something very healthy yourself but i feel like you're also not saying a lot of you're not seeing a lot here this could also be could be a gemini or a leo here like i said if someone here is wanting to come towards you wants to overcome somebody that was a little egotistic could want to be coming towards you here they have hidden motives but I feel like it's more of like they want to overcome the difficult challenges that they they had with you before. That's for some of you. If it's about love here. Give me more on this happy family for group A. Okay, so you've probably been healing regarding a relationship. Someone that you really loved. Or maybe there was a betrayal here amongst family members too okay so it could be about love here okay so someone here still wants to start all over i do feel like after some healing that you are going to be meeting someone new this could be someone new aries pisces or a gemini water sign air sign but i feel like after some healing after getting grounded somebody here is actually gonna go towards something really really strong in love okay wow okay give me more on this transformation this change i feel like you have manifested something into your life but not after going this after after this ending here look at that see you're meditating you're staying grounded give me more on this hold your vision 
I feel like you're you're more grounded hold your vision I know you've manifested a lot you've planted a lot of seeds already where you needed to and you're there's gonna be victory but be careful with people around you because they don't want to see you succeed here okay it could be in in work as well okay be careful don't tell everybody your plans here work silently that's what i'm getting here okay or don't tell a lot of people because um i see a lot of envious people around you okay so hold your vision you're gonna get there you're gonna you're gonna succeed at something that you've been manifesting okay so have that confidence within you follow your guidance okay so i see a little bit of everything here the bottom of the deck we have the king of chalices somebody here could be coming in it's a water sign or a fire sign they could be coming in very passionate person but really um has their heart on their shoulder hmm. they haven't came in for some of you for most of you it ha they haven't came in okay that's what i'm feeling here i feel like it's new energy entirely um for some of you of course i do feel like there's someone here with hidden motives but it's more about um you know finding that that stability it is a struggle for some of them okay Give me more on Pau A. Let's see what message do you have? Energy check in for Pau A. No, this one. Ooh, see? Ring, ring, ring. You are going towards something very committed. Most of you are going towards something very committed. Or a commitment it could even be at, at, at work something long term yep for some of you if you're not here for love of course okay that's what I have I think I saw this I said all the signs here did say Scorpio um, air signs water signs earth signs fire signs so it doesn't even matter um, could be Taurus or Libra. Okay, so I hope that felt like it resonated. Thank you so much for watching. So let's move forward. B. Okay, B. Let's see what kind of energy you're bringing us. Let's see. Don't let your past hold you back. South node. For some of you, there is something happening in your south node. So um, look that up. Maybe it's somewhere in, with Gemini or Sagittarius or a tw uh, in Vedic is Taurus and Scorpio. In Vedic astrology, half faith. It, there is something major. Your shift's coming next uh, next month. Well, today now, September so major shifts okay so it's gonna be affecting your chart somehow don't let your past hold you back though it's time to move forward have faith in your dreams interesting maybe you have some dreams here don't let the past hinder you though because there could be some resentment some anger some um, emotional baggage that you're still holding on to or some some hurt from the past that it could interfere with your um, dreams your goals your whatever you're trying to move towards okay anything like that even if it's not related it still will interfere with your dreams goals and stuff it manifests within you its energy okay so we have sharing sharing here so you could be a fire sign here i do feel like you're gonna be very abundant i don't know why i'm i'm getting the glue to our family like maybe you're the glue to the family or maybe you're very um 
you have a lot to share even love money whatever here you're very sharing person or you're going to have enough for everyone that's either um physically or just love sharing love wanting to be around people sharing your wisdom here woman holding a heart that's interesting have faith um I feel like you are somebody you could be meeting of course a very caring loving woman if you're if you're um looking of course if not this is you you have your heart on your shoulders here but i do sense that you're thinking differently here um what's being highlighted to me is that there has been a change in the way that you're thinking about love uh-huh okay let's see clover luck happy coincidence a reward good fortune i do sense some good fortune coming in for you with the sharing you'll have enough to share enough to go around or maybe there is something here from um having faith in your dreams knowing that there's enough to go around elephant gentle lucid dreams maybe you're having dreams too this pile i did sense a little bit of um dreams having faith in your dreams but there's something about also lucid dreams maybe you've been dreaming a lot write them down there's probably a message there for someone we also have trust telepathy wit hmm. focused power you're probably trying to focus on your dreams and goals wow we have fireworks passion chemistry lust kissing exhilaration holiday separate celebration explosive hot sex too interesting <laughs> so there could be some love coming in for you here that's pretty obvious here archer it could be a sagittarius a fire sign in general we have careful aim on target go to guy or gal direct quick precise focus someone here focused on you that's what i'm feeling here they're going to be focused on you they're going to want to be with you they have some strong chemistry passion there could be some vacation coming up for some of you um but i feel like there's something that you've manifested something's coming back around for some of you i do feel that um i feel like it's someone from your past because um south node north node giving me those vibes in a oracle deck of course let's see Give me more on this um don't let your past hold you back for pile b okay take this one. Oh, okay look at that both running someone here you could have been um, someone that was holding back or holding you back because there was some kind of conflict. You're finally being free from that. So don't let it, don't stay there. Don't stick. It could have been with Leo or somebody really embodying the Leo energy. Mm. I kind of sense that you are um, gaining your strength from the past here. And you're finally setting yourself free becoming lighter here mm -hmm. give me more on sharing i'm only doing some of them what is sharing here temperance could be a sagittarius like i said someone here wants to mend things with you oh yeah it's a new beginning a new spark somebody wants to ignite 
um, this spark within you we have a lot of sparks going on here with the fireworks could be a strong fire sign here um, could be a Sag of course somebody wants to mend things somebody here wants to balance things out or wants to take you out have some kind of um, yeah I feel like also like date you but they want to ignite this passion within both of you this is all about love <laughs> wow Give me more of woman holding a heart. Mm, okay. King of chalices just popped out. Interesting because the king of chalices is a king of hearts. The king of um, cups here. The kind of like the counterpart we we both have feminine and masculine energies within us so i'm gonna keep it because i feel like it could be you also give me some more um someone here really really kind of being very open to their feelings towards you and you're gonna fall for this person either it could be a new fire sign or a new relationship entirely or um or just um someone from the past wanting to start all over and really coming clean with their feelings here give me more of the king of chalices and the woman holding a heart yeah it's like the rising of the phoenix here with the 10 there is very strong chemistry it's gonna be very tempting for you because this person it kind of seemed like they took a long time to offer you anything they kept thinking and thinking about it but you are you're kind of trying to let this go or letting go of the past here but they i do see the king chalices with the four of wands that came after it it could be something that makes you happy some maybe you are getting over a past here it could be a past person that really didn't commit anything to you but it was a little too toxic a lot there could have been a lot of lust a lot of chemistry a lot of passion between you two but i feel like you're leaving something behind here to go towards this here somebody that makes you happy that likes to enjoy time with you it could be the same person because we did have the temperance here so that's interesting um but i feel like whatever some of you most of you you don't want the past so most of you um but others of you you will have to let go of the past um to mend things with this person from the past like whatever happened happened and you need to let it go it's and for most of you you're not gonna have you're not gonna be able to do that and you're gonna want to start all over with someone new because i do see someone leaving a toxic something toxic behind okay give me more on this focused power for group b the clover is pretty self-explanatory yep being focused being confident following following your guidance um being confident in your power here very focused and determined to move forward give me more on this passion and chemistry for group b this person is going to be very focused on you though with the archer here next to it yep this person is going to come in fast they're going to want to move fast that's what i'm so take your time because <laughs> something that yeah they want to move things along fast we have the wheel here with the king of swords they're gonna be very very um clear with you and what they want they want to work things out or they want to have something that is um yeah something more 
they're going to be very focused on you. They're going to be very clear. Want to communicate with you. Give me more on this King of Swords. Very direct with you. They ain't going to play games with you. The King of Swords is not someone that plays games. Four of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like you're not going to know what to do here. They want to turn things around. They want to move fast. If they were holding back before and being cold, the will is here to really tell you that things will switch, will turn around. Yeah, someone here probably didn't know what they wanted before. They were thinking too logically. Now they, now they know what they want. Now they're focused. Now it's like they're clear on what they want. Okay, give me a last message for group B. Attraction. Wow, there is some, yeah, strong attraction between you two. Very strong. Okay. Have a lot of chemistry. Okay, so that was just an extra message for you. So I hope that felt like it resonated. I got both old and new here. So, and I got all of practically just love here. <laughs> so we have air, we have Capricorn, Taurus, we have fire, Scorpio, air, Leo, Sag, Aquarius, Sag again, and Cancer. Okay, hopefully that felt like it resonated. Thank you so much for watching, and let's move forward. Let's see, let's see what kind of energy we have coming up for C. surrender to the divine this is full moon so you're you're going to be affected by the full moon a lot full moon in pisces well this full moon now conclusion are within a conclusions are within a within reach full moon eclipse so there's some changes coming as well mm -hmm. but you need to surrender and trust the universe here definitely the rebel yep breaking the chains breaking the chains of something here you're i feel like someone here is coming full circle is taking charge of their life there is some something that you're gonna know now you're gonna feel it also you're gonna probably be feeling this energy very very strongly hostilities Ooh, so be careful about people around you you um the environment around you people stay calm i feel like yeah with the rebel here stay calm if you're hot tempered or if you anger easily stay calm especially this month the energy is going to be very heavy heavy okay so let's see what else we have Mars, the ruler of destruction, self-asserted, upheaval, raw. See, that's what I, we have the rebel, the hostilities here. So be careful. This is a tower. Uh, sudden changes coming, chaos, impulsiveness, aggression, upheaval, stepping stones, the process of arrival, baby steps, how to key, how to to keep on going step by step way out okay so if you are not pregnant or you're not planning on to be careful <laughs> um because i'm getting baby steps here very strongly but of course it's it means baby steps of you taking steps i know that but i don't know why with the um, Mars, that can also signify, you know, to me, could also signify, I don't know why that was highlighted for me. 
interesting. I don't know why that was highlighted for me, but maybe for one person here. So the process of arrival. So something is coming. Like I said, there's a new beginning here. Something's coming. You're closing out a cycle. Standalone guidance. Following your guidance. There's a hierarchy, experience, erudite, corporate, government. Maybe you work for the government. We have two towers here though. So really, really be careful. Okay. Um, not to instill s uh, like a um, scare in you. Like for you to be scared. No. I just feel like if, if you get into some kind of chaos or drama. Just try not to. Try to stay in your own lane. We have Falcon rising above. Yeah. You need to rise above, focus, a transition, more change coming. Third eye, following your intuition. Take baby steps towards something here. Um, there's probably like a new beginning that you're also trying to. I'm also feeling a birth of something. That's probably why I said baby. Well, that's what. That's probably why baby was highlighted. Because there's also a, there's a change which brings like a rebirth or a birth here. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I needed to drink water. <laughs> okay, let's see. Why? What is this? Um, what are these conclusions? group C. I'm only going to do some of them, not all. Knight of Swords. Interesting. I feel like someone here is really leaving something behind to gain their... Yeah. Leaving something behind. Look at and going towards something more stable the ace of pentacles you're starting a new stable beginning here give me more on this rebel Ooh, there could be some temptation there you could be a capricorn too give me more on this rebel freeing yourself from the past why is this rebel here Yeah, you're not you're not going to be stuck anymore. You're probably also saving money for some of you, but you're not going to be stuck anymore. I feel like you're going to be going forward now. You're going to be holding back. You're going to hold back from people that you know don't serve you well, and you're going to um free yourself from them as well. Move moving forward. You're going to feel like you're going to you're being pushed forward. Okay, my left ear is ringing. That's interesting. Okay, why is hostilities here for group C? Okay, so yeah, you're going to be cutting off people, cutting off chaos. King of Swords and the Queen of Swords here. So, wow. It could be someone that you've been dealing here with. You both were probably married or something like that. There's going to be some kind of um, drama between you two. Harsh energy. I don't know why I'm sensing harsh energy. But both of you are going to be very clear on where you stand. Where you stand with each other. But I do sense that there is going to be some, of course, some harsh energy between you two. Some direct communication between you two. Yep, I'm... Mm -hmm. Someone's going to cut off the other person for good, I feel, because they stress them out. And you are coming to the conclusion where you need to cut people off that don't serve you, that bring this energy to you where you, you get stressed out. So yeah, be careful. There's a lot of harsh energy around you. I don't know whose energy I'm picking up on. Give me more on Mars. Mars energy for this group spirit guys why is Mars energy try not to hold on to anything here from the past surrender to it okay that's what I'm getting here the two eights here so we have eight of swords and the strength 
something's going to keep you stuck here you need to overcome really st start just practice patience practice a lot of patience hold back a lot um because it can drain you something here is going to cause a lot of stress for you so just be careful follow your guidance here take baby steps raise above it give me more of this falcon raising above this changes oh yeah nine of pentacles becoming your own really focused on your own um spiritual health mental health physical health with the four of wands focus on your own stability security your own family people that love you around you yeah focus on that okay there is change here coming with the two of pentacles you're probably trying to keep yourself busy and balanced here okay so i do see a lot of new beginnings for you you're cutting off people that bring in bad energy for you you're probably gonna have that strength to do it during this month mm -hmm. if you haven't been able to do it before mm -hmm. seven of swords at the bottom of the deck things being kept from you not knowing everything and you are giving yourself justice i feel we have the justice card it's like you're kicking off your shoes and saying well if it that's it i'm done that's what i'm feeling with that <laughs> seriously you're getting that kind of energy yeah with the towers here mars showing up i do sense that you're gonna be like whatever i'll just do i'll just kick back yeah like you're gonna be tired of the chaos or whatever's gonna come up for you give me more on c okay do it yourself that's what i just said right you're just gonna do it your do it yourself give me another one for C You're, I'm just going to get you an extra message cut ties see I told you cutting ties do it yourself why is do it yourself here for group C like you're just going to just yeah overcoming obstacles on your own seven of chalices really um opening up looking at your other opportunities keeping your options open really dreaming going towards your goals overcoming obstacles i do see leo i see um water leo Okay, Virgo, fire signs, earth signs, air signs, cancer, um, air, I have Aries, oh, this is also Mars energy, so that's why I'm telling you, it could be Aries, um, Scorpio, but again, it's Mars energy, I forgot that that was Mars energy. Okay, anyways, so I hope that felt like it resonated. Thank you so much for watching and take care. Let's move forward. Let's see. Okay, so D, let's see what kind of energy you're bringing us. We have emotions are running high. Well, that's not a surprise. We are on full moon Pisces. So be careful if you're feeling emotional. Just remember it's the full moon. It's affecting you. You're probably an empath as well. You can feel the energy. A new rom romantic cycle begins. You could be a Libra. But there is a new romance cycle. Hmm ahead wow okay let's see inner voice following your uh, your intuition here dolphins to me also represent you know a very strong intimacy could have been also someone from your past a past life connection you have um 
yeah really following your intuition or just trusting the universe you know with whatever happens staying in your own um power as well feeling balanced that's what i'm feeling here with that the garden and the gate you could also be very mystical very um probably an empath here i do sense it could be a taurus or a pisces too we have the garden and the gate i feel like there is something that you need to close the door on already and start focusing on your own garden here the sun is coming up the um clouds are clearing meaning you're seeing things a lot more clearer yep feel like you've closed the door on something already magnifying glass get more info clarity research documents examine the fine print important details we'll look more into that garden oh look at that we have two gardens here public venue society crowds audience party meeting event a date community outdoors so you might be going on a date with someone here too meeting someone or even meeting someone at at a social event or out in public you might bump into them out in the community uh, queen of air you could be air signs or they could be an air sign here um, or it could happen in the winter time mm -hmm. two to four weeks or in the winter time during january or february this person is going to be very assertive very independent or this could be you too um very very intellectual it won't accept anything less than what they deserve they are very clear with their um yeah i don't know why i thought it was a gemini here but that was for someone probably but we have the star here it could be aquarius too um interesting how i didn't i just saw queen of air that's all <laughs> i didn't even read the aquarius thing so it could be a, an aquarius or just an air air sign in general but this is a star somebody that is pretty much healed independent very assertive could be you milky way networking again more it could be in social media networking marketing publicity internet there could be fame here for you exposure expand expanding you're in the spotlight maybe this could be you too maybe you have a youtube channel too let's see what we have here Okay, I'm just gonna do some, not all. This is pretty self-explanatory, but let's see. Why is the garden and the gate here? Oh, look at that, Queen of Pentacles. You could be where um, you could be meeting a Capricorn, or you are a Capricorn, but someone here. There is a strong chemistry between you and someone else. There is gonna be a strong chemistry. Um, Queen of Pentacles is someone that knows their worth. Again, they're in the garden here. Out, every time I see this, it always gives me the vibes that they're out on a date. Mm -hmm. But, or walking, walking here. They're walking through a garden. Why is the devil here? There's going to be, I feel like there's going to be a temptation to go back to the past. So be careful with that something here is coming towards you it could be a capricorn here but someone here that wants to talk to you wow the king of pentacles with the four of wands oh yeah this is gonna be a soul contract with someone new it could be someone new queen of pentacles with the king of pentacles the four of wands the three of wands it's like you're going towards your happily ever after here stability security it's coming towards you the moment you start focusing on yourself doing some self-care or self-love here there is going to be someone coming to your door not literal but you know 
someone's coming towards you. Somebody that's gonna want it all with you. Mm hmm Give me more of this magnifying glass. Because the devil did come up. So let's see. What is this magnifying glass? I feel like it's someone just trying to get more details about you. Oh, yeah. Yep. They want to know about you. They want to know if you're single. They want to start new with you. Mm-hmm. Give me more on this. Magnifying glass. Yep. They want to take a leap of faith forward. They want to, you know, sweep you. I don't know why I'm getting sweep you off your feet. But it's the knave of chalices. So somebody here wants to come and spend some time with you. Be with you. Flirt with you. Flirt their way in with you. Sometimes I see this as a past coming back. So you, m there might be a temptation of going back to the past. So be careful with that. Um, use discernment for some of you. But someone here wants to take a leap of faith forward towards you. Because you've been taking care of yourself. Give me more of this garden. Why is this garden here? Okay, so you're overcoming here. Wow, we have the... Yeah, you're overcoming heartache po possibly here. You're gaining your strength back and you're trying to go out there a lot more or putting yourself out there more. Give me this queen of air. Five of chalices. disappointment so you're trying to heal the past here heal from the past with the star yeah you're becoming this empress or the emperor with the sun here is it talks about more healing here also going towards your abundance your happiness uh, with the star here, you are going towards abundance, a new beginning, something you've learned so hard, like a hard lesson here from the past, but you're going to get your strength back. You're going to get your happiness back and you're, you're kind of determined to do so. Mm -hmm. I feel that you're going to find a new soulmate for some of you. It's someone new, somebody that's going to see you as someone very stable, very nurturing, um, long-term wifey or husband material. Give me more on this. Could be a Leo. You know, we have the star here. It could be a strong Aquarius. We have, um, yeah, I feel like you're healing here. We have the star here twice. So, do sense you're gonna be um a strong aquarius here taurus libra as well give me more on this networking or milky way social media someone wants to move forward here you're probably gonna um, meet them at a gathering here but somebody here is serious about you that you could be on the spotlight too very confident very victorious going towards your abundance here there is abundance with the ten of pentacles something long term as well it could be something um also your networking or there's fame here as well with the um, chariot here you could be in the spotlight or just enjoying your time with family and friends here but i do see that you're going towards this like a long-term relationship or stability security um feeling more secure here in money or love let's see give me more on give me an, an extra message for d okay power see i feel like someone here is gaining their power back Mhm. Mm so uh, like you're you're getting that strength back love could be about love here 
you're healing you know better now i feel too okay so that is what i have i do see all signs okay so some of the major ones that i see are capricorn virgo cancer aquarius virgo again it could be a pisces aries gemini um libra taurus pisces leo yeah that is what i have or oh, it i thought i said yeah taurus and pisces here yeah i hope that felt like it resonated thank you so much for watching and i'll be back later with another pick a card mm, bye